One of the hardest mathematics competitions in the entire world, the Putnam exam, had its 2024 results announced last month. The top five schools were MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, and University of California, Santa Barbara, then followed by Brown, University of Chicago, University of Maryland, University of Michigan, and then University of Waterloo. And of the top 25 individual top highest scorers, 21 of them were from MIT. Also, I feel the need to say this just because people commented about it last year when I made a video about this, but Asian Americans are Americans. So if you're gonna make some comment about their names, shut the fuck up. And even if they're foreign exchange students and you feel the need to comment on their names, also shut the fuck up. Kinda crazy, but the first place score was actually a 90 out of 120, which means that the top scoring person got a 75% on the test. With questions A6 and B6 having nobody getting them perfectly correct. They might be looking at this list and saying that, wow, the same schools keep winning over and over and over again. Are those people just so much smarter? Well. A lot of times, one, they do kind of poach from people who are good at mathematics in high school, but a lot of these schools have what are called like training classes in which they have a course that is specifically dedicated to helping students prepare for this test where they have previous winners come and actually teach students tips, tricks, techniques, just like an SAT preparation class. So colleges that don't have those classes are automatically at a disadvantage and are probably never going to win anything. 